Never provoke, harass or interfere with the crocodiles, even small ones. Never feed crocodiles, it is illegal and dangerous. Be extra vigilant around water at night and during breeding season from September to April. Avoid approaching the edge of the water and don't paddle or wade at the edge of the water. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, The Ultimate Survivor Africa. This is the channel that comes from Africa. We talk about things that takes place in Africa. We talk about politics, we talk about celebrities of Africa, we talk about nature and conservation, we talk about tourism and tourist destinations and everything that concerns Africa. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and activate the bell icon so that you don't miss our future videos. Please give us a thumbs up when you're watching our content, that will support our channel a lot. And don't forget to share with friends and family and those who would love to learn things about Africa. Still on the continuation of the dangerous animals found in Africa, in today's video we are talking about the crocodile, the Nile crocodile. This is one of the dangerous animals that has contributed to the death of many people here in Africa. Over a thousand people a year are recorded that are being killed by crocodiles, adults and the kids. While many other organisms that exist today change significantly over time, Crocodiles seem to have changed little in their evolution since the time of the dinosaurs. They first evolved around 200 million years ago, and most species are still thriving today. In other words, they stumbled upon something that really worked, but what is that exactly? Part of what makes crocodiles dangerous is the ability to be sit and wait predators. They can literally be submerged underwater for about two hours without coming up for air, just waiting for the prey to come by. They also have the strongest bite force known of any large predator. Nile crocodiles have had recorded bites around 5,000 pounds per square inch. For perspective, the average human bite is around 160 pounds per square inch. If you get chomped by crocodiles, you won't be able to open their mouth. That's important to at least consider before getting yourself in a situation you can't get out of. How can you avoid crocodile attacks? Number one, don't swim in waters known to have crocodiles. This is a no-brainer, but if there is a sign that states there are crocodiles around, it's likely there for a reason. Number two, avoid swimming at dusk or at night where there are crocodiles. Crocodiles often hunt at these times. Even if crocodiles aren't supposed to be there, you should swim with caution as these times are very dangerous. Number 3. Don't get within 15 feet of a crocodile as they are surprisingly fast at short range. Number 4. Don't walk along the water's edge. In fact, it's recommended staying about 15 feet from the edge of the water in the countries where there are crocodiles at all times. Number 5. Avoid camping near water. It is recommended you set up a camp not closer than 50 meters to the water in places where there are crocodiles. Campers have gone missing when crocodiles have come out of the water and taken them from their camps. If you are wondering why I'm so afraid of the crocodiles, it's because these fakes are a nightmare fuel for me. Number six, don't get water from the same spot twice. Crocodiles are clever in how they hunt. If they see someone gathering water at, a, at one point or on the waterway, they will move to that spot, submerge and wait. This is also why I always carry water or enough water when I'm camping around places where there are crocodiles. Number seven, avoid crocodile nests. Like most mothers in the animal kingdom, they are too very aggressive when it comes to defending their offsprings. Number eight, Avoid feeding crocodiles. Not only it is generally illegal and dangerous to give food to the crocodiles in most places, it teaches crocodiles to associate humans with food. That leads to more encounters which will be bad for either a human or a crocodile who will have killed someone and he will be put down. Which ones are the most dangerous crocodiles in the world? While crocodiles over 8 feet pose a serious threat to humans, the Nile and the saltwater crocodiles are the most dangerous of all species. 
both of these actively hunt humans and will even crawl out of the water to take humans from the shore. How can one survive a crocodile attack? Probably the best thing is to stay alert and avoid getting attacked in the first place. I can't emphasize this enough. You do not want to deal with a crocodile when you are in their mouth. That's because once a crocodile climbs down on you, it's basically impossible to open their jaws. However, if you do find yourself in this situation, I suppose you should have a plan. Here is a hot tip. Crocs do have sensitive spots. Their eyes, nostrils, and throat. Poke it in the eyes. If you can manage to get your fingers or something else into these sensitive organs, the crocs may release you. If the eyes are unreachable, the next most vulnerable areas are the nostrils and the throat. Crocodiles have a flap of skin that keeps water out of their throat. If your hand is caught inside their mouth, you may be able to pull this flap down and it could release you. Don't assume it will let you go. A misconception is that maybe you can play dead and it will think you have drowned and release you. Nobody will be able to hold their breath that long. Fight! Get out of the water as soon as you are released and run to safety. Get medical attention right away. Even small puncture wounds could get infected easily because of the multitudes of bacteria in their mouths and in the waters they live in. So, can we eliminate all the crocodiles because they are very dangerous? The answer is no. Crocodiles are top predators in their ecosystem. They play valuable ecological roles in the areas where they live in, so we need them. They are beautiful animals. Just respect them, give them a distance. Keep a distance when you're watching crocodiles and also be on the lookout and follow the precautions that we talked about at the beginning. So please continue to subscribe to this channel. And if you're enjoying our content, give us the like, the thumbs up that will support our, our, our channel to grow. And please don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family and also talk about the ultimate survivor Africa. I'll see you in the next video.